going on, y'all? So I'm out here at DMV Iron, about to put in some work with my man, Danny. I'm gonna let him take me through a shoulder workout real quick, because I always like when I get with different fitness enthusiasts or just fitness people around the world, I like to get into their world and uh, give them a chance to fuck me up. So I'm pretty sure he's about to fuck me up. But we starting off with pull-ups, we're gonna then go on the rear delt exercises, put in some work. By the time I look, get out of here, I should look a little bit different. Shoulders should be on swole. So we're gonna start off with pull-ups. Check my man out. You gonna give me Instagram? So it's really Shorty Nice. It's Shorty. Then N I I I three I's C E. No reason. No reason why he's called Shorty. Like. <laughs> Pull-ups, we went with two different variations, wide grip, close to grip. We did four sets of 10. And now we're going to cable, rope, face pull. Again, our focus right now is gonna be to hit our real dare. One of the smaller muscles in the shoulder, so we wanna attack that first so we don't leave it out and we can't get to that, that muscle group. So we're gonna alternate back up. But keep it real short though, so when you come out, don't go all, don't extend all the way. Here, here. Right here. Tell them why we would go short instead of full range of motion. Because when you when you extend all the way, you lose your rear delts. You start working other muscles. Um, rear delts is just a real short range of motion. Same thing when we're gonna do a reverse pec deck. We're gonna keep it real short. Um, that way you constantly keep tension on the muscle the whole time. You don't wanna lose that feeling, so. Did y'all take notes? Just drop some juice on y'all for these rear delts. grips. First one was here. Pull. Second one was here. Pull. Range of motion. Um, different grips, different angles. Impact muscles totally different. So you can always just flip or switch the angles or the position of how you're holding certain equipment and it's going to attack that muscle a lot different. This time you're going to drop a knee and come a little bit more above your head. that movement a lot of times you'll see people face it straight on but you want to do the key to hitting your rear delts and not hitting your traps as much or not using your lats as much is to move your arms up slightly higher than your chest so we drop the seat that way you can see when DP's arms are resting his arms will be up a little bit higher it's gonna help him target his rear delts more so this is the muscle that you want to see when you do this movement his traps are dominant, so you're gonna see him out anyway. But you can see that his rear delts are fully engaged. His arms are higher, and he's using a short range of motion. So this is the look you want. And 
instead of going really fast and keeping that tempo high, he's slowing it down, getting a quality contraction every time, and that's the key. Right now we're using a lap pull machine, again, to hit the rear delt. Standing up, all counterbalance, making sure that that bar comes right close to the chin. Again, we're focusing on trap area uh, primarily. A slight lean forward and then chest open as uh, when you come back with the weight. There's a different variation to hitting those rear delts. everything looks right. if I'm not wide or I put it to you this way your back you gotta think about proportions your back can't grow further than your shoulders grow right so in order to create that taper you have to have wider shoulders and then your back can can catch up or match it. So, I don't go for everything I'm doing now is for the aesthetic. It's the look. That's it. Just, just and, a look. and I mean, there's more, to, there's more than one way to skin a cat, I believe. You'll see some people that'll lift crazy heavy with improper form and they get gains out of it. Right. It doesn't work for me. Yeah. Um, if I can lift the lightest weight in the gym and make it work, right. I'll make that motherfucker work every right. time. Um, at the end of the day, you know, I'm trying to preserve everything. All right, so now after three exercises, we're going to warm up. So. Shorty says we're gonna warm up after three exercises of three to four sets. Uh, going lightweight, side raises, two different positions, 10 reps a piece. Uh, first 10 are gonna be by the side, 90 degrees, and then the first, the next 10 are gonna be in front with a little bit more range of motion, 10 raises. And then we're gonna bang out some heavier weight. Check it out. So now we're getting into uh, some standing military press ones to kind of stand at an angle. Uh, not necessarily heavy, medium weight, got 25 reps. So uh, check it out. A little different machine. A lot of people don't have this in their gym. going to be a, a variation of like a shoulder press, military press. We're going to use the, the front 
um, of the bar. So we're gonna be pushing this way. It's gonna work this tie-in between your front delt and your chest. Um, that's where you see like that meaty part kind of meat. And uh, <laughs> this, this, we're gonna be working this. Um, but we're gonna go fast on the upward movement. And then on the way down, we're gonna go slow. So that negative movement is gonna be like a two to three second uh, rep. So we're gonna go up really fast, and then we're gonna come down really slow to really keep tension on this part of the muscle. Um, and again, let's just build in more condition, more detail. That's how you start to see striations and build that defined line between your delt and your chest. This superset, doing a, a side lateral raise, a moderate to heavy weight. Uh, try and maintain form, but the biggest thing you want to do is push outward. So when you do a side lateral raise, instead of doing like a chicken movement, you want to push out this part, this portion of your delt. Um, obviously, we want to make this a little wider. So that's that's the purpose of doing the side lateral. You want to throw my arm instead of yours? <laughs> and then. Uh, <laughs> I ain't even got to come back. And then we're supersetting that with front raises, again, to build this tie-in. Um, it's really important, uh, from an aesthetic perspective anyway, to, to dissect and, and separate each muscle. That way everything pops more. So if you can separate your delt from your chest and your delt from your lats and your traps, it just makes you look that much bigger. And that's important for little guys like DP. So here you can see like DP's elbow is slightly bent, but he's pushing out with his medial delt right here. So every time he comes down, you can see it separate from his triceps and his biceps. And when he comes up, you can see it separate from his chest and his traps. So then what he's gonna do after he gets done doing this, we're gonna take it straight into a front raise. And here we're working on separating his chest from his front delt. And what'll happen is the more you come down, the more you build that area up, the more separation it's gonna make between the two muscle groups, um, the more aesthetic you're gonna look, the more well-balanced you're gonna look, and the more proportionate you're gonna look. Uh, so this, part, this portion is important. Um, not only is it a conditioning movement, but it can be a strength building movement as well. All right guys, so we just finished our shoulder workout. Uh, having the boy take me through a whole bunch of different routines. I uh, definitely talked through form, we talked through strategy, and we th talked through technique. Um, anytime you guys are in the DMV, make sure you guys hit my man up. He said he ain't taking no clients, but I'm forcing some people to go his way because bottom line, the man can train. But uh, other than that, like I said, the focus for today was shoulders. As you see, we got that good little pump. I'm gonna let him close it out. You got anything you wanna say to anybody? No, I just want to say uh, I appreciate you guys coming out. I appreciate DP coming out. Every time he comes out, he shows love to me. He shows love from afar as well. Um, I've learned a lot from this guy, uh, and I think uh, that's the beauty of this friendship. That's the beauty of this community. Um, no matter where you are, no matter where you start, where you are in the process, you can always learn. Um, if you're in the gym and you're moving, you can always take that and, uh, and kind of make it work for you. Um, so again, I think the biggest thing to uh, take away from the whole thing is uh, draw inspiration from everybody around you and um, never stop.